Hello and we're back on this uh, little project of creating a um, app page with an MD list that we're going to ultimately be able to feed with projects and um, update by searching with uh, a button and a, uh, a text input uh, box. So we finished last time by creating the simple page that has headers, uh, a footer and lots of like elements in them. But now what I want to do is feed those from a, um, a database. So let's go right into this. I'm going to create a new Python file on the side. I know um, I wouldn't have to since it's a small project, but let's be uh, pragmatic and use the usual structure we would have even though nothing's really organized in here, but uh, bear with me. So let's import SQLite free as SQ because uh, yeah, I don't want to be bothered. And as usual, if you've done a little bit of tutorials on SQLite, you know that you need to create a, um, a connection and this connection is going to be sq.connect to uh, my project .db. Please note that this th usually doesn't fail because you're either going to create myprojects.db or connect to it. There's no errors there, right? Uh, you could just, uh, um, proof it, um, save, sorry, I'm losing my English here. You could protect it with some other kind of code, but I don't really know of any case where this would be an issue. Now we're going to create a cursor. The cursor is kind of like what's pointing into your database to do things to it and um, and modify stuff. So your connector, the connection is like linking yourself to the database, it's like validating it, committing information and stuff, and your cursor is pinpointing specific information and creating like um, queries into your database. So we're gonna use the connector and create a cursor, and this cursor is just gonna be uh, from my project's database, so con connector here. Then let's go into my database. So we're going to say database um, init. And this initialization, um, it, so we create a database um, if it doesn't exist yet, right? And how do we do this? Well, we're going to uh, do a query. So what I like to do is just say, uh, query equal and then we're gonna have our text so our text here is gonna be well like it when it does this uh, we're gonna create a table and we're gonna add this little thing that says if not exists uh, that should um, Safe, uh, f foolproof your real, um, your actions here, because if the table already exists, this is not going to send back an error. So you might not need a try and accept statement. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked into that really, but at least like using this helps. And then this table is going to be called uh, projects, and it's going to have. PID, which is going to be an integer, primary key, an auto increment. Uh, okay, so we're just saying that this is the primary key. We don't have to give it any value. It's going to increment itself every time we add value. And we're just simply going to have a project name, which is simply not null. Okay, so that sounds like my uh, table, and now this query we're gonna use uh, our uh, cursor to pass it. So cursor dot execute query, <clears throat> as easy as that. Uh, now I'm gonna create another function. This function is gonna be uh, feed data, so to add information to my database. Sorry. Uh, add items to the database and this might evolve into something more specific like you could use a text input or something like that later on but for now we're just going to create um, our database we're going to feed our database with random information and this is going to be a simple for loops so for uh, 
uh, that in range 10, let's say 20. Um, we are going to say that uh, query equal, I'm, I'm going to keep this way of doing things because it, it, I feel like it's um, easy to follow. Insert into projects p name, so the, the column of projects, and then values. And it, this has to be into parentheses. This is the structure of the code. You have to do it like that. And this way you are um, you are protecting yourself a little bit better against uh, SQL injections using this structure. And um, adding informations one by one, you need them to be into a parenthesis. Okay. So values question mark. Okay. And now we're gonna say. Um, cursor dot execute and we're going to call our query and comma and add the value we want to add and the value is going to be this okay so our project name is going to be this and you know what it might even be uh, project sorry so let's go saying project number this and we add an F key here. Um, and actually, since uh, our range is going to start at zero, we don't want our first project to be zero, right? Your project is not a, uh, like a programmer's uh, way of thinking. So, to make it clear for people, you add one. So, we're going to say project number one, project number two, project number three, etc., etc. And now, one last thing we've got to do, which is pretty weird, you've got to get the gist of it. Is that when you're uh, doing a query like this, it's usually safer to put it in two parentheses and add this comma here. This makes your entry into a tuple with one information in it, and it um, it protects you from various issues in um, in your code, especially if you do execute many. Uh, but well, this should work now. Now we're going to create a another function that's going to be my process uh, sorry my read data first and you'll see what the process is and my data let me make some space so it's more in the middle of the screen for you read data is going to simply read all values from the projects table and returns them all so how do we do this? Easy, we're just going to simply return and let's be quick with this. A simple query saying select all from projects. Uh, and then what you need to do, and it's very easy in SQLite 3, is just use this fetch all um, statement. This method is just going to bring back like um, a list of all the informations. So now uh, what I want to do is um, create something that's going to like make me use all these uh, functions all together. So let's go with this. Uh, let's define a uh, run process function. And this run process is just going to simply call database in it. It's going to call feed data and it's going to call and it's going to return, sorry, my read data. Now if I say if name equal equal main I'm gonna do a, a run process. And we're gonna print read data. Okay, sounds pretty good. So let's see how it works here. Okay, so we've got it. You see that you've got a list, and this list has like a tuple of two values, the ID and the name of the project. Um, so what we're gonna do now is just simply loop through this 
to feed our MD list, right? So uh, doesn't seem too complicated from there. And so now we can do this. Let's go back into our main.py and now we need to uh, import obviously our file and we're just going to simply say import database as db and this is going to look all right. So now our on start is going to change. What we're going to do is going to start by saying projects is equal to db dot run process. And now we're going to say for uh, project in projects self .ids .container .at widget one line in a time. And now we're going to feed this line with our elements. So now my text is going to be actually um, id equal on this. And now we're going to say project zero. So remember. Zero is the ID. And then maybe let's make some space, use this and say a name. And now it's going to be project one. Easy as that. So now every time we start the app, we're going to feed our, our database with this. Uh, those projects and feed our MD list. So let's see how it works. Oh, and I've got a problem. Uh, type error known type objects is not iterable, uh, which is in my main.py line 13 for project in projects. Uh, is it because I'm printing something? Yeah, it's because I, I used to print it, I guess. Okay, and you see that now I have a lot of projects and it goes to 20. What happens if I start that again? Well, it stays to 20. So for now, I'm going to have this um, this page with all my projects. So this is how you're going to feed your, um, your MD list from a database. Next time, we're going to try and work on how to add a little uh, search system so you can find again your projects based on their name or part of their name. So see you around.